Hey guys, Jordan here, and in this video, I'm gonna be responding to a question, so let's get into it. All right, on this channel, I talk about real estate photography, so if that's a topic you're interested in, make sure to subscribe. I think I've probably put out the most videos on real estate photography on this channel, so check them out. Um, if there's a topic in real estate photography that I haven't touched on that you want me to, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Um, in this video I, is a question that I got or a comment on a, I think unrelated video, uh, the worst Apple products for real estate photographers. If that's a video you want to check out, the link is in the description below. Purely Pressure LLC says, so I have a Sony ZV-E10, so do I, and I'm getting a lot of grain in my HDR photos. Um, I have the lens you recommended, uh, which I think is the 10 to 18 millimeter for that particular camera because it is APS-C. Um, size uh, please help so from my experience the most common place where you're gonna be getting your grain or you know the the major factor or setting that's gonna be causing a lot of grain in your photos um, is going to be your ISO settings right so if your ISO settings is way too high or if you leave it on default in that camera I think it's 100 to 12,800. You need to cap that um, top end limit if you're going to be shooting auto ISO. Top, cap that top limit um, at about 400 ISO. And that's typically if you want your camera to play in the range of 100 to 400, I think that's pretty safe. Now, if you just turn on your camera and you from the factory and you left the ISO settings as is from 100 to 12,800 in those low light rooms. Obviously outside, the camera's gonna select 100 ISO most of the time, but um, on the inside, it's gonna push the limits because, you know, and sometimes I do push the limits on some of my cameras, but I know that they perform pretty good even at higher ISO uh, limits. So obviously you're finding out that the ZV-E10 doesn't have the best um, high ISO picture quality. Obviously it's going to be um, creating some grain, but it could also, uh, uh, be part of your editing flow process, right? You can introduce grain um, that way. You might be pushing your shadows too hard and that is usually where you're gonna be finding uh, the most amount of noise in, in your images. So, I mean, that's somewhere else to look at, but I can probably almost bet that your ISO settings are a bit too high. Now, if your camera, if you lower your, your camera uh, ISO and now your shutter speeds are super long, then you might wanna look at your aperture settings, right? If you're shooting manual or if you're shooting aperture priority, maybe you're shooting at like a F11, maybe you need to drop that down to like F8, 7.1, 6.3, somewhere around there um, to compensate so you're not having super long exposures because with long exposures, with a lower ISO, longer exposures, you know, you have, a higher likelihood of your image being blurry if there's any type of uh, shake to your camera or tripod while you do it. So I try, it's it's a balancing act to balance your shutter speed um, with the other um, variables of your camera. So anyways, those are my thoughts on why you'd be getting grain with your HDR photos. Um, if you got value out of this video, hit the like button. If for some reason the ISO setting doesn't solve your problems, um, you can uh, let me know in the comment section below and then I'll definitely take a look at it or maybe make a more in-depth video if that's something others want to see as well. And uh, that's it for this one. If you got value, hit the like button. We'll see you guys on the next one.